If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now, before we get into the video, do me a quick favor real quick, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoying the content, hit them notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you will be the first to get it. Now, check me out. <clears throat> I finally, right, I finally got my hands on the video of uh, of the live, you know, that uh, everybody's been talking about as far as, you know, uh, FBG Cash being in the studio, right? And after watching this video multiple times, man, it's, it's, it's a cold demonstration because I'm looking at this young man, FBG Cash, and he's just full of life, right? Not understanding that hours later that he will be gunned down and his life taken away, right? And I'm looking at him. He got the same clothes on, you know what I'm saying? That the, pe the people's all on Instagram and shit showing the man body laying down. I ain't going to do all that, right? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he got the same clothes on and stuff like that. So it's just like, man, it's a cold demonstration just to see him just living, right? Now, I want y'all to look at this video, man, right? And I don't, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not finna point no fingers or none of that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. But this is just a part of the story. Check it out. Y'all see it? Y'all see what I'm talking about? Now, this is the thing right here, right? History has told us in the hip hop culture, rap culture, right? Studios is one of the worst places for a rapper to be. What do you mean by that, uh, hood educated? This is where these niggas make their music and shit like that. That's the best place for them to be. Yes, you are correct, right? But when you making that gangster music and you game banging, you making drill music and you dissing people dead ops and shit like that, it's the worst place for you to be because people know exactly where you are when you making that music, right? Now, history has shown us uh, Tupac almost lost his life. Where at, y'all? At the studio, right? Uh, the boy out of Florida, Julio Fulio. I'm talking about recent events. Almost got his life taken. Where at, y'all? At the studio, right? And I'm sure some of you brothers that's, that's in Illinois, that's in Chicago, can name some rappers that done died or been shot or been shot at leaving the studio, right? So it makes me think about the brother, uh, Bodine. Like, what was you thinking at? To film this man in the studio, right? Showing the background of the studio. Everybody understand that you are FBG, uh, 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 what do you call it? You call yourself FBG engineer, right? You you put that label on yourself, right? And so everybody know, okay, when FBG them making music, they at that studio right there, right? How hard is it for somebody to get the low? Easy, easy. It's not hard at all. I probably can call right now to that studio because you know he's an engineer i probably can call him right now and say hey man i need some lyrics cleaned up man i need to i need a dope beat man i, I need to you to uh clean up my vocals and shit like that man um uh, how much you gonna charge me he gonna give me the, the price and then i say well where you at where, where, where can i uh, meet you at and he gonna give me the address to the studio and there it is i got the low i know where fbg and them going to make their music at all i got to do now is just sit out there and wait that's it. 
All I got to do now is just sit out there and wait. That's it, right? Now, I'm not pointing the fingers at Bodine and saying that those was his intentions. I'm not pointing the finger at Bodine and saying that, hey man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you the reason why that happened to Cash. I'm not. I'm not saying that right there. I'm just saying that it don't look right and it's not right, and that you shouldn't have did it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, bro. And not only that, though. The reason why I say you shouldn't have did it because you said out your own mouth, bro, that you have worked with the other side, right? This is what you said on Truth Teller. You said that you have worked with the other side. Check it out. What's up, though? When it comes to engineering, is it like... Is it like how they say with the rappers, you can't pick sides or it's picking side shit going on? Can you engineer other artists and shit too? Or? I could, but... Because you known as like FDG engineer. Yeah, yeah, I stand on that. But I, I could, but it's just so fluky. And like, these little Dirk fans are weird. Like, the little Dirk fans and the niggas that want Dirk to know, like, they do weird shit. So like, I distance myself from that, but I have worked with everybody. From both sides, like I, I was working with Bueller and with Dirk and Reese, like Trench Talk TV. This was just what maybe two year, year and a half ago. Right. I had Lil Reese and them up at my studio. I didn't do it intentionally. Right. Like I didn't know that they was gonna be there, but my homie Crescent Three One Two, like we were partners, and they needed an engineer. They didn't tell me who I was engineering. Right. Like everybody knows, I got this big ass picture of duck on my arm. Like right. I walk around with no shirt when it's you hot. Got a tattoo of duck on it. Yeah. Yeah, you think we can see that? Oh, that is dope. Yeah. So when I walked in the studio, like, I didn't know who was there. It was a big ass 300 party. Y'all see what I'm talking about? So being that you know that you worked with the other side, bruh, they know where your studio, your studio at, bruh. You shouldn't have did that, man. You, no, nah, you shouldn't have did that, bruh. Right? Because in doing that, you letting people know, hey, hey, cash here right now, y'all. This was cash here. Were those your intentions to get him, you know, uh, changed over? I, I don't think so, man. Or I don't know. Let me say that. I don't know because I don't, you know, hey, I don't know, right? But at the same time, that's something that you shouldn't have done, bro. Now... If they was waiting outside the studio, they could have ran up on cash right then and there. I would like to think in my mind that cash is intelligent enough that if somebody was following him, that he would have peeped it. He would have seen it like, okay, these niggas on me. I see him and I'm, because we hood niggas. We stay in the rearview mirror. Come on now, y'all. Let's be honest. We hood niggas, especially if we know we in the shit. We stay in the rearview mirror. Like I'm talking about. That's just how it is. We want to see who following us. We taking extra lefts, extra rights, and all type of shit just to see if some niggas is on our ass. That's just the type of shit that we do. Unless Cash was just straight slipping. But obviously, I don't think he was because, like they say, them niggas had to cut him off. So they wasn't following behind him. Them niggas had to cut him off and jump out, and jump out the car. But I just wanted to put that out there, man. I, I just wanted y'all to, to check these videos out, man. And give me y'all portion of understanding on this right here. Do y'all believe that this is where they got on cash at? And possibly followed him all the way to the crib? Or all the way to wherever, where it is he was going? Is that is that it? Or, or, or was they waiting for him when he pulled up to... Where people are saying his mother stay at. I don't know that to be true neither, but everybody's saying that. But could they been waiting there? You know what I'm saying? Laying and waiting on him there. Or could they have been laying and waiting on him at that studio? Right? Now, like I say, I ain't pointing no fingers. I'm not trying to say that Bodine set this brother up. I'm not trying to say that. Now, Bodine, you one of the modes. I'm one of the lords, so we can rotate. You understand what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind bringing you on my platform and and, and, and allowing you just to, to clear the air. That's if you want to, bro. I'm not begging you to do no shit like that. I'm just saying if that's something that you want to do, just to clear the air because everybody is saying that you set them up. 
this is what everybody else is saying, bro. Everybody else is saying that, man, you drop cash low. You set them up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my Instagram is Hood Educated Five. Y'all go follow me on Instagram. It's Hood Educated Five. So, man, y'all go check me out. Uh, man, it just this is a uh, fucked up situation, man. But this hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.